everyone, it's Madeline, and this video is all about what to expect when visiting San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is a fantastic city, and with its numerous attractions and delicious cuisine, we think it's a great city for the whole family to enjoy. If you're planning a trip to the Alamo City, there are just a few things we think you should know before heading out on your trip. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Our subscribers help shape our future adventures. If you're a first time visitor to San Antonio, stick around until the end of the video and we'll discuss our must do's for first time travelers in this wonderful city. Let's get started. Know before you go. San Antonio is located in South Central Texas and was founded as a Spanish mission in 1718, making it one of the oldest cities in Texas. San Antonio is the most visited city in Texas and is the second most populated city in the state, behind Houston. Austin is located about two hours away from San Antonio, so you can easily visit both cities in one trip. San Antonio has hot summers and mild winters, making it a city you can visit all year round. Summer temps can creep up to around 100 degrees, with August being their hottest month. October to March would be great times to visit because the weather is more comfortable and the city isn't as crowded as it is in the summer. San Antonio International Airport is located about eight miles north of downtown. Things to do, the Alamo. The Alamo is one of the most famous historical sites in the United States and is an absolute must visit in San Antonio. The Alamo was originally built as a Spanish mission in the 18th century. It is commonly known as the site of the Battle of the Alamo, which was a pivotal event in the Texas Revolution. Entrance into the Alamo is free, but you need to reserve your ticket ahead of time. If you'd like to take a guided tour, tickets for those cost $45 per person. Over 2.5 million people visit the Alamo annually. It is the most visited attraction in Texas. The San Antonio River Walk. Shops, restaurants, and local attractions make the San Antonio Riverwalk a popular attraction in downtown San Antonio. Taking a stroll along the Riverwalk is a great way to explore San Antonio. You can also book a guided river cruise to learn more about San Antonio from the water. San Antonio Missions National Historical Park. This National Historic Park allows you to enter San Antonio's history by visiting four missions dating back to the 18th century. San Antonio Mission is a great spot to learn about the early days of San Antonio and is the only UNESCO World Heritage Site in Texas. We thoroughly enjoyed getting outside and exploring the park for the afternoon. Eat Puffy Tacos! Puffy Tacos originated in San Antonio and are a must eat when in the Alamo City. A Puffy Taco is made from raw masa dough that is flattened and fried in hot oil until it expands to create a soft and crispy shell. We were on a mission to find the best Puffy Tacos while in San Antonio, and that brought us to some delicious spots like Ray's Drive-In and Pete's Taco House. Tower of the Americas! The 750-foot Tower of the Americas is the most distinct structure in the San Antonio skyline and offers incredible views of the city below. The tower was designed for the World's Fair in 1968 and has a revolving restaurant inside as well as an indoor-outdoor observation deck. Tickets to the top cost $16.50 for adults and $12 for children. The World's Largest Cowboy Boots You can find the World's Largest Cowboy Boots in the North Star Mall parking lot. The boots stand 35 feet tall and weigh over 4,000 pounds. Initially constructed for an art exhibit in Washington, D.C. in 1979, the boots traveled cross-country to San Antonio where they have stood ever since. If you're a fan of roadside attractions, then this is the perfect spot for a photo. Brackenridge Park Brackenridge Park spans 340 acres in downtown San Antonio. You'll find numerous attractions within the park, such as the Japanese Tea Garden, the San Antonio Zoo, and the Witte Museum, where you can learn about Texas history and wildlife. The Japanese Tea Garden. The Japanese Tea Garden is located within Brackenridge Park. It's also known as the Sunken Gardens. What was once an abandoned limestone rock quarry was reimagined in the 20th century into a beautiful garden with walking paths, waterfalls, flowers, and koi ponds. We loved visiting the Japanese Tea Garden and feel like it is a must-do in Brackenridge Park and the perfect spot 
for a photo opportunity. San Antonio Zoo. The San Antonio Zoo is the third largest zoo in the United States and is home to more than 750 species that reside on over 50 acres of land in Brackenridge Park. Admission to the San Antonio Zoo is $29.99 for adults and $25.99 for children. Theme parks. There are several theme parks in the San Antonio area, including SeaWorld and Six Flags Fiesta Texas. If you're traveling with kids, this might be a fun option to explore. The Pearl District. The Pearl District is a vibrant and revitalized neighborhood north of downtown San Antonio. It's known for its historic buildings, trendy shops, restaurants, and cultural attractions. The district gets its name from the historic Pearl Brewery, which operated from 1883 to 2001. We enjoyed strolling around the district before having dinner at Southerly, followed by ice cream at Lick. Breweries. San Antonio has a rich history of brewing that dates back to the 1800s. At one point, the Pearl Brewery was one of the largest breweries in Texas. And although it's no longer in operation, the craft beer scene is alive and well in San Antonio. We had a fantastic time exploring local breweries in San Antonio. Back Unturned Brewery and Kunstler Brewing are located in downtown San Antonio and deliver some delicious brews. Wine Country. About an hour north of San Antonio is Fredericksburg, which is considered the heart of Texas wine country. You can travel up to this area to enjoy wine tastings at sprawling vineyards, have delicious meals, and enjoy the charm of downtown Fredericksburg. If you plan to go wine tasting, you should look into renting a place in the area for the night or arrange a tour that includes transportation. If you'd like to see more from Texas wine country, we have an entire video about Fredericksburg up on our channel now. Austin. Austin is less than two hours away from San Antonio and would be a great addition to your itinerary. Visiting the Texas state capitol, eating delicious barbecue, and catching a glimpse of the Congress Bridge Bats are all great things to do in Austin. Where to stay? Downtown Riverwalk. You'll find a high concentration of hotel options along the historic Riverwalk. This is where you'll find familiar hotels such as the Grand Hyatt, the West End, and the Omni. We stayed at the Thompson San Antonio on the Riverwalk and loved how easy it was to explore the city from this location. You'll be close to attractions, shopping, and nightlife in this area. It is a popular area in the city, so it may be more crowded with tourists than other neighborhoods. The Pearl District. Also further along the Riverwalk is the Pearl District. Here you'll find the Hotel Emma, a luxury hotel located in the renovated Pearl Brew House. This may be an excellent area to look for an Airbnb or vacation rental. Downtown. Downtown is where you'll find all the great attractions that you want to visit in San Antonio. The city is incredibly pedestrian friendly, so it's easy to walk to most of the things you'll want to see. Here you'll find the St. Anthony Hotel and the Emily Morgan Hotel. You'll also find some more budget friendly chains in this area. Northwest San Antonio. If you prefer a quieter and more suburban setting, the northwest part of the city offers a range of hotels and accommodations. This area is closer to theme park attractions like SeaWorld and Six Flags. Southtown, King William Historic District. Southtown is a vibrant neighborhood with a mix of arts, culture, and dining. The King William Historic District, known for its beautiful Victorian era homes, is also located here. Here you can find unique accommodations like historic bed and breakfasts or boutique hotels. As I mentioned at the start of the video, we'll now discuss our must do's for first time visitors to San Antonio. I think it kind of goes without saying that you have to see the Alamo while you're in San Antonio. It is one of the most famous sites in the United States. It's all over our history textbooks. So I think we can almost take that off the table as a must do for first timers because it's kind of a given. You know, when we travel, we like to explore an area through food. So I think you have to have some delicious Tex-Mex while you're in San Antonio. There are so many great restaurants and you got to try the puffy tacos. It originated in San Antonio. It's a popular southwestern dish and you know it's somewhere between a hard shell and a soft shell taco. You just kind of have to try it for yourself. And you know, we went to Rays, we went to Pete's Taco House, both great spots to try a puffy taco. For me it would be the river walk. There's a part downtown that's a little bit more touristy and there's kind of some restaurants and I think people are walking around with big slurpy drinks and whatnot. But the Riverwalk's expansive, and there's some other areas where we were that I really enjoyed just walking along it. There was some nice lighting, it was a nice night. 
obviously Texas can get pretty hot, so it's really dependent on what time of year you're there, but it can be a really nice place on a nice night to go for a stroll. If you want to see more from our adventures in San Antonio, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.